Hi, girly. These are the uh, moms of all the little baby uh, uh, purple perps that I have. Uh, and that's uh, Cryptolytrops purple maculatus. Um, all attempts have uh, not gone well to get them to feed. They're just so bloody defensive all the time that uh, um, I can't really get them to feed. I mean, look at the tail uh, uh, wagging away there. Um, you know, it's not like Darth Vader, uh, who's reluctant to strike, and you have to uh, go nuts with him in order to get him to, uh, to strike. Uh, these guys absolutely positively will strike at uh, anything that moves, including themselves. But uh, I haven't been able to get them to uh, uh, to food feed. You can see they strike very nicely, but they don't hold on to the prey. And uh, this, I would I would think that they would just swallow down, but. Um, they're just interested in biting and releasing like perps uh, generally are. So I'm going to have to do, take extraordinary means and uh, pin her down and uh, force feed her to get something down her gullet. She's fasted for who knows how long. Wild animal, not really a a huge amount of food in her system to begin with and she's pretty young so hi Sniffs how you doing? Sniffs is uh, shaking his head at me there we go hi Sniffs there we go uh, Sniffs is always overseeing whatever I'm doing in here so what I'm gonna do is uh, hook it out uh, put it on the table and uh, you guys can watch the action. Uh, uh, like I said, I almost never ever uh, pin a full-size animal um, if I have to medicate it. Now, excuse the uh, the video, um, but if I have to medicate that animal, um, I'll usually tube it. And since this is going to be a pissed-off animal anyway. Uh, why don't I demonstrate the uh, tubing uh, while we're at it? Um, let's make a little bit of room here. <clears throat> the term tubing, uh, I don't know where it came from, but it's uh, pretty. Uh, Pretty evident uh, once uh, you see what we're doing. Uh, Midwest uh, tongue sells these um, plastic tubes that the whole idea is to get the snake's head in one end of it, grab the snake, and uh, immobilize it inside the tube. Now this one is a bit large for uh, that girl. Um, so I will try to find uh, a more appropriate uh, size tube, which I think I have. Okay, the reason why you want to select the right size tube is um, snakes being very clever, especially the ones with the pointy uh, ends on them, uh, it'll turn around right inside this tube in that small a radius and uh, come back down towards where your fingers are and uh, that's guaranteed to be uh, uh, painful and or exciting uh, at the least. So you select the tube that uh, has an appropriate diameter for the head and there she is, she's patiently waiting in her box. Um, so we can uh, work with her. Now hopefully uh, she'll cooperate and do this uh, on the table here. Um, you need a hook and you need another nice uh, pair of feeding forceps. Uh, again, these are all Midwest Tongue products. Uh, highly recommended. Um, uh, they are uh, the best uh, um, 
some of the best products available for herpers. Don't skimp and save when it comes to the tools that are going to keep your fingers out of their mouths. Um, so, with that said, uh, let's uh, bring the uh, friendly little girl up here and put her on the table. Boy, she looks uh, nice and skinny now. Uh, here we go. Now, while keeping uh, Mr. Hook very handy, um, Always good never to drop the hook so you have to bend down right into the snake. Uh, the whole idea is with the tube, and believe me this is a lot harder than uh, uh, it is. Even this one's a little bit on the, uh, the large size for this girl. Behave, behave. Uh, let's carefully pick these up and select. She's a skinny little girl. She's a she's a young one. Uh, but uh, being young or not doesn't uh, make a difference to her. She will put you in a world of pain very quickly. So if you're working with a short tube, uh, it's good to hold it with uh, the tongs. Um, but since it, ouch, well you did it, not me. But since I'm working with uh, uh, this size, the idea is to work it over the head. It's a little tough when they're in this S-coil. Now come on, keep your mouth shut. Okay, oh, very nice. And yes indeed, it's always uh, helpful to have a helping hand but when you're a solo act, ah, see how nicely she sort of went in there all by herself? Now, uh, Miss Perp, the pointy end is uh, immobilized. And uh, I have a number of these cut off to a specific uh, size. So I can take them in this far. And if it's cut off right here, I can have easy access to their mouth where I can, uh, I can worm them or treat them for any sort of ailment, pull eye caps off, all while uh, keeping the pointy end at bay. Now, it's still possible to get bit, so vigilance is required. Um, but as you can see, she's uh, uh, not so uh, easy to, to get to you. Now... Another thing you can do is very carefully, and since this is a little bit larger than I like, is you can extract them. Oh, come on. And keep those uh, very pointy things as far away from you as possible. Hey, you got venom on my uh, towel here. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at that. And they're even nicer when they're not going into your finger. Um, they're a good half inchers. Um, business end of a Cryptolytrops purple maculatus, the purple plague. Um, how's your mouth? Your mouth is okay. You can barely see your eyes, by the way. Okay, so now what we're going to do, since we have her uh, so cooperative at the moment, is we're going to attempt and always, always keep the body as immobile as you can because if they start uh, uh, swagging that body around, um, they will pull their head free or pull it off in your hands and it's always a good idea to prevent them from doing that because you'll end up being bitten. Uh, cane brakes are famous for that sort of uh, trick as well as puff adders. They're all relaxed and very nice and calm and placid 
all of a sudden they jerk their head, jerk their body, jerk their head, and the next thing you know, you're heading towards the emergency room to get some antivenin. Okay, with uh, the young lady successfully force fed, that's not to say she'll regurgitate it, but I, I don't think so. Most perps, when I get it down there, usually stays. There you go, girly. Okay, uh, that'll be all for tonight now that I'm all uh, nice and worked up and sweaty. Um, like I said, I don't often uh, do that with an adult animal because uh, it's re really, really dangerous getting bit by a very large one versus a very small, uh, smaller version. Um, and, you know, those guys got long fangs. It's going to go in you really deep and cause an awful lot of tissue damage, especially with your friendly neighborhood pit vipers. Um, by the way, I will add our good friend. Hello, I'm here. You know, I can't even hold this thing at arm's length and uh, get my whole uh, head in there. Our good friend Darth Vader uh, uh, ate last night again. Uh, uh, he wasn't quite as uh, uh, crazed as he was the last time. He, uh, he decided that he was going to strike a little bit earlier than uh, uh, putting up with all that crap. And uh, once he did a very nice strike, all of which I've got on video that you'll see upcoming, um, he uh, ate the big rat during the night and has a very nice full tummy and I didn't bother him at all today. And with that, I will uh, say goodnight because I've got to pack animals up to go to a Venom Lab. Ciao, ciao!